and welcome to MTV News Update for today, Wednesday, March 14, 2018. In the news tonight, pensioner found with a throat slit, one arrested. Public Health Ministry denies any drug shortage. Wanted fugitive and social media personality arrested at different locations. And in court, three security officers charged for stealing $3.2 million in cash and checks. For the details of these and other stories, I am Ashley Scotland. Thank you for joining us. Now for the news and details. Detectives on the West Bank of Demerara have their work cut out as they look for evidence following the murder of a senior citizen. The woman was found in her house with her throat slit sitting in sheer. Nicole John opens tonight's newscast. Investigators are looking for two persons following the murder of 68-year-old Ursula Pradrat of 6th Street, Bell West, Canal No. 2. Reports are that a male neighbor who lives opposite the murder scene was taken into custody. Other neighbors said the man would be away for long periods before returning to the village. They said the man went this morning to check on the elderly woman. However, when he entered the house, he discovered the body. Nephew of the deceased, Naresh Singh, says his aunt was living alone since her reputed husband died years ago. Singh said when he arrived at the house this morning, he found his aunt in a chair with her throat slit. The grieving man believes that his aunt may have let someone in last night because she called a relative just before 20 hours to give them some details for building materials. He already gave an um, estimate to her and if he gave an estimate to her, that means he was here last night. But no one didn't take that information from nobody else yet. That means he, he got to be the last person to talk to her because she gave the estimate over the phone to the girl. So that means the contractor was here to give an estimate, but he come this morning to receive, see the body. The door bolted from outside. That means the person who did it locked back the door and they got to they got to know, they got to know her well because they know the door, they locked the door, come in, that's it. The nephew of the deceased also told this newscast that he was made aware this morning too that someone in the village who would do odd jobs came and chose to clean the yard. Singh claims that there was an argument between his now dead aunt and the handyman. Well, there was a guy um usually come and clean her yard like on a weekly basis and um he came yesterday to clean the yard and she and her, he and her had some argument and um he said he would deal with her later and that was it. They left and he gone. I don't know if it could be he or what, but as I could see at this moment that he didn't clean the yard because if you look around, I, I they have things that clean, spots that clean in the yard. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. The Ghana Press Association has expressed concern with the decision of the state-owned news entity, Ghana Chronicle, on its decision to end its relationship with columnists Dr. David Hines and Lincoln Lewis. In accordance with Article 146.1, except with his own consent, no person shall be hindered in enjoyment of his freedom of expression. As such, the GPA hopes that the editor-in-chief, the board of directors, and the government by extension keenly considers the Guyana Chronicle's motto, the nation's newspaper. The Ministry of Public Health has clarified that there is no drug shortage at the Leonora Cottage Hospital and the Amster Health Centre. The clarity was provided following reports of shortages. Find out more in this Sandy Ramutar report. Persons who frequent the Leonora Cottage Hospital and the Denamstel Health Center have made several claims that the two institutions lacked much needed drugs. However, when News Update questioned the junior public health minister, she laid those claims to rest. Well, I have been there up to Friday and um, I wasn't surprised of that. What we had done, we had closed it owing to the disaster. And so persons were being seen at the Mildred Cox uh, or the Amstel. And so we mobilized to ensure that the capacity of persons going there. So we did carry some stocks there. Dr. Cummings says even if there is a scarcity of medication, access can be made through the centralized system. While the Diamond Diagnostic Center has over time been challenged with a number of issues, Dr. Cummings says there has been vast improvement. In September last year, a stringent review was facilitated at the center following faulty remedial works which led to a protest by the staff. 
The facility, which also had complaints of drug shortage in the past, is now being supplied with medication in bulk, Dr. Cummings explained. But we have, so far, there's a vast improvement for what used to happen before. Um, of course, we're accessing, people are accessing the service more, so it's, you know, new um, housing schemes are opening, and so we have to increase our stock levels and so forth. But we, it's a work in progress. Dr. Cummings had admitted to a drug shortage last year, pointing out that it is a work in progress to ensure their adequate drugs at medical health facilities. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. More news still ahead. Do stay tuned. At Optic Vision Care, we value the power of your sight. And with our team of eye care professionals, you'll be in good hands. Come experience our comprehensive eye examination using state-of-the-art technology and specialized diagnostic equipment at four convenient locations. In Mahaika, Grove, Giftland Mall, and East Street. At Optique, we care, you see. Call us today, 227-7744. BB is way going with so much Windex for clean windows. All them fancy curtains, it's not even Christmas. Hi girl, mind your own business. I got big plans. But BB, your house don't even have windows. Eh hey, girl, you ain't think I know it ain't got window? Yes, I know it ain't got window. But look, Mokesh promised me that he carried me down by the window factory when he come home and Eccles, it named Beeson. Like you know nothing, girl. Right now, everybody talking about how Beeson got the strongest windows. Plus, they got a deal right now. If you buy 10 windows, you get a free bathroom window. So I could mind new business instead of you minding me own. Beeson Windows and Doors, serving Guyana with the highest quality standard windows for your home, office, or commercial building. GPTI Quality Lifestyle Consumer Care Loan Plan affords you a choice of items including washing machine, refrigerator, television, computer, and more. Let GBTI help you live more comfortable. Apply now. GBTI, your friend, your bank. Everything is connected. Our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink, Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. You're still with News Update, welcome back. With advanced technology for the first time, deaf youths will be a part of the National Robotics Challenge held by Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics, Guyana. Let's hear more from Sandy Ramatar. The grand announcement follows the need to incorporate children with special needs in the advanced technological sector. Director of the Guyana Deaf Association, Sabrine McIntosh, says an approach was made to STEM to ensure deaf youths are allowed to participate in a national robotics challenge. A trial run coupled with training was facilitated for the students to be part of the challenge. But if you develop a skill, you, you have different expectations because you're proud of this. You know you have the skill, you know it is a marketable skill and you can make, so to speak, demands like anybody else. Um, for us, that's the whole idea to provide, you know, sustainable, sustainable development, sustainable economics, you know, for, for the deaf youth. In supporting the teams, Star Computers donated a Lenovo laptop to STEM Guyana. Sales and Marketing Supervisor of Star Computers, Penny Fraser, says the contribution came as part of your ongoing partnership with STEM. And um, we're donating this laptop to benefit the whole project. We um, want actually everyone to come and stream with STEM because it's a good initiative and um, for the youths, for everyone, and um, it's going to be very beneficial for the country. In June 2017, a team from STEM Guyana was successful in their representation, copying the 10th spot in the first ever Global Robotics Challenge held in Washington, D.C. in the United States. Sandy. Ramutar 
for MTV's News Update. Senior citizens will not be forgotten in Guyana as the government is creating ways for them to continue participating in the development of the country. One of the government's initiatives for the elderly is the Sunset Club, which will be formed in every region. Lashana Gomes-Kanilis with the details. The National Commission for the Elderly, in collaboration with the Ministry of Social Protection, earlier today hosted a seminar based on one of the ministry's newest initiatives, that of the Sunset Clubs. According to the Director of the Social Services, Ministry of Social Protection, Wentworth Tanner, the Sunset Clubs were developed to bring about recommendations and ideas. Tanner stressed that it is the mission of the ministry to ensure the Sunset Clubs are developed across Guyana's 10 administrative regions. He explained it is hoped that senior citizens will actively engage with club leaders on a variety of issues which affect their way of life, health and family issues, community and more, while voicing their opinions and recommendations. Uh, the idea is to have these clubs in each of the 10 administrative regions. Uh, moving forward, we are hoping to uh, use these groups as a vehicle to get ministry uh, programs out, especially those programs that will benefit senior citizens, and also to use uh, your services and your knowledge to help us when it comes to crafting policy that will not only affect and impact, but also benefit senior citizens. Tana continued with the ministry currently working to develop a national policy for aging. Recommendations from the Sunset Clubs will feed directly into the policy. So moving forward, um, we're hoping to foster an even closer relationship with the groups that are gathered here today and those groups that will be included um, eventually from each of the 10 administrative regions so that we can definitely um, move the process forward. Uh, on the agenda for 2018 is the creation of a national policy of aging that will address many of the concerns and the issues and the challenges that are faced by persons, well, by our senior citizens. So I'm hoping that this is the beginning of us um, having a better relationship and a better rapport in general with our senior citizens. While seven groups from four regions have so far been developed, representatives from the remaining six regions will soon be taking up their roles within the Sunset Clubs. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. A wanted fugitive has been arrested this morning at a location in Liliendal, East Coast, Demerara. Following his arrest, a popular social media personality, Lalita Kalanda, was also apprehended. Find out more in this report. The Ghana Police Force this morning has been able to arrest a wanted fugitive. According to the police, in a statement to the press, Rangs ventured to a location in Liliandal, East Coast, Demerara, and arrested the murder suspect, Troy Thomas. The force said the intelligence-led operation by Rangs of the Ghana Police Force commenced since January 31, 2018. Thomas had fled the United States of America after an arrest warrant was issued for him for the murder of Keith Frank. That murder allegedly took place on December 11, 2011. Thomas fled the jurisdiction following the murder to the United States of America address. However, he returned to Guyana. In addition to his arrest, investigators have arrested makeup artists and social media personality Lalita Calendar popularly known as Lola of East Rumvelt. She has been arrested as she is suspected to have harbored Thomas when he returned to Guyana. The social media personality is also wanted by the police for threatening behavior. Nikhil Jondo reporting for MTV News Update. When we return, United Nations High Commissioner advocates for countries to protect Venezuelan refugees. What good is history if you never change? And what good is change if it doesn't make you better? At Valvoline, 
For the last 150 years, we've been doing just that. Relentlessly pursuing innovation for your engine. Backed up not just by science, but by the hands-on expertise that drives everything we do. Valvoline, 150 years under the hood. Looking for fresh meals? Tasty pastries and bread? Then visit Pam and Steve Bakery at 127 4th Street in Stone Avenue, Campbellville. Come and enjoy our daily breakfast and lunch specials. Choose from our wide variety of delightful meals. For the Christmas holidays, place your order for our black sponge and fruitcakes. Be sure to drop by for our Sunday breakfast special, pepper pot and more. Opens every day except holidays. So next time you're in town, Remember to visit Pam and Steve Bakery or call us on 226-5338. For over 64 years, Gafoors has been your number one hardware supplier. And today we're the largest manufacturer of PVC and plastic products in Guyana. We produce pipes Schedule 40, DWV, SDR21 and SDR26 in sizes half inch to 12 inches. Electrical conduits. PVC gutters in 9 foot 6 inches and 16 foot lengths. Water tanks, sizes from 200 gallons to 1600 gallons. Stackable water tanks for easy transportation, size 450 gallons. Pipes and gutter fittings, which include elbows, adapters, tees, straps and brackets, and buckets, bottles and containers with covers in various sizes. Our PVC and plastic products are available at any of our several locations and at many hardware stores countrywide. Gaffour's, the name you can trust. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily, Monday through Saturday, to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, Feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. All right, so we're here with Franklin mm -hmm. from the Champion of Champions, Nick Shine Car and Bike Show. It's going to happen this weekend, and Franklin is going to give us a little more insight on what's happening. Okay, Nick Shine Ride happens to be um, a Champion of Champions showcase. For all the car bike shows that have been happening in the last two years, we, uh, we put them all together in one venue, National Park, this Sunday night, the 18th. The gates open at 4 o'clock, um, the competition begins at, at 7. Um, there's also tons of fun for the kids. You can bring the kids as well because we have tons of fun. Dora, free ice creams, free party bag, of course, face painting and trampoline. Boys Bicycle Rally, tricks and skills, surprise and gifts. So you have to be there. You have to be at the National Park this Sunday. Music by Slingers family, come early, stay late. It's a family-oriented event, so everybody should be there. Tickets go on sales on Thursday for $1,000. That's early bird. The, the, the price for the kids remains the same, $500. You must get there. There's going to be a whole lot of complimentary given around from GTNT complimentary given away from Stack Beer, complimentary given away from the promoters for this event. So stay tuned to the media to get your complimentary to be a part of Nick Shine Ride this Sunday, National Park. This is MTV News Update. Thank you for staying tuned. Health will be extensively promoted to effectively address aspects of adolescent health as the Ministry of Public Health moves to craft Adolescent Health Strategy 2030. Here is more from Sandy Ramatar. The Adolescent Health Strategy will safeguard against new maternal and child deaths and improve overall health and well-being by 2030. Minister within the Ministry of Public Health, Dr. Karen Cummings, says the strategy will strengthen surveillance and public health care for adolescents. Dr. Cummings wants the strategy to emphasize on the developmental stage of adolescent before the onset of morbidity. Coupled with this, the strategy should be responsive to enable adequate prevention and health promotion initiatives. Our strategic approach to health promotion for adolescents which can be most effective is health promotion for society as a whole on behalf of adolescents. For example, the banning cigarette advertising and making emergency contraception available over the counter. We must continue to exhort our adolescents to behave in healthy ways. For example, not to smoke, to use contraception, eat a balanced diet, and take up physical activity. Utilizing this approach, therefore, to improve 
young people's social abilities will help them to choose whether to accept or reject certain courses of behavior. There is also a need for the strategy to encompass modification and design of primary care with the inclusion of safety net services and special care. On a positive note, a number of health-friendly spaces have been created across the country to care for adolescents. The adolescent health strategy will be crafted to effectively address aspects of adolescent health throughout the country. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. As Venezuelan's political, social and economic climates continue to crumble, leaving many citizens without access to basic food, medicine and a stable means of income, the United Nations High Commissioner has released new guidelines for governments to address the situation of persons in need of international protection and humanitarian assistance. Tashana gomez Canelius with the details. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNCHR, the societal situation in Venezuela is daily becoming a major issue for many Venezuelans still living there. The UNCHR, in an effort to help bring about some level of security, stability, hope and assistance to many Venezuelans, is encouraging states to offer those Venezuelans access to their territory and refugee procedures. The UN Refugee Agency has noted, while reasons such as insecurity, violence, lack of food, medicine, access to essential social services, and loss of income are the main causes for many Venezuelans leaving their homeland, there is need for international protection for those who are refugees seeking asylum in other countries. Since 2014, there has been a 2,000% increase in the number of Venezuelan nationals seeking asylum worldwide, particularly in the Americas during the last year. The UNCHR is of the view that the situation in Venezuela is so intense, no Venezuelans should be returned there. The UN Refugee Agency is a United Nations program with a mandate to protect refugees, forcibly displaced communities and stateless people, and assist in their voluntary repatriation, local integration or resettlement to a third country. Venezuela, a once thriving South American oil and gas nation, over the past two years alone have seen thousands of its people crying out over the state of the country's political and social atmosphere. Upon having its economy declined by 3.0%, Venezuela in 2014 entered an economic recession. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. Motorists using the Canal No. 2 access road have expressed their discontent over the deplorable condition of the road. The stretch is so bad, according to one motorist, that parts need to be bought regularly for his vehicle. Here's Nikhil Jondo. Taxi and minibus drivers say they are frustrated with the condition of the access road. The drivers during an interview with this newscast, lamented that parts of the access road was dug up approximately one month ago. One man said he has to change several parts of his vehicle due to the condition of the road. Steering them, all them ambushing rubber go. Me got spend a little sixty thousand dollars for me car now. Circle this road. The four shocks gone already. My shocks is ten thousand. Four or forty thousand. Then I got people work marshal. Look the distance where they dig up the road and left the road. This is one month now. Nobody not, never come and tell you nothing about this road, you know. But you know what they're gonna start this road. Now you work in higher care, you can't work with ESC. Now the dust are affecting you whole day, you are there up and down from this road, up and down. Then why you buy new tire? Watch, my car got a new brand tire there. I buy brand new tire for my car. $15,000 for one tire alone. I had $200, $8 charge up. Tell me when you can afford to buy a full new tire for your car. If you got to there up and down from this road here. Look at all the homes and everything. Look, look at this road here. The motorists are seeking information from the relevant authorities as to when works on the access road will commence. One man noted that if the contractor wanted to fix the road in a timely manner, then he should have done so in the first place instead of having the works stalled. 
They need to come and tell us something about this road here. They can't leave the road, dig up the road and leave it just like that. People, people buy a new car for the poorest not use. What you going on? What the road condition? You want new tire? You buy new tire. Look the road. Look the distance. You gotta drive up and a whole day. You gotta drive from this road, you know, whole day. And every single day you gotta work. The road been there far more better than this. If they're not ready for this road, they shouldn't they touch it. Exactly. Then they should have never touch it. They should have wait until they finish one year and come to the next year. Because this thing here put everybody in problem every day. You hear the tire or your steering end or your ball joint or your bearings, everything broken up. Because when you get passenger and you need more heavy, more the road rough, more you shaking the vehicle up. Motorists have, for a number of years, been complaining about the state of the road. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. Still ahead, political commentator accuses the PPP of straying away from the philosophy of Dr. Jagan. Stay tuned. The secret is out. Tayo's Future Shop is the absolute best place to shop if you're looking for quality products at the lowest prices in the widest possible variety. Choose from a vast array of custom-made quality wooden furniture in endless designs. Electrical and household appliances. Clothing. Cell phones and accessories. And much, much more. Tayo's Future Shop and Household Appliances, located at Anna Caterina, West Coast Demerara. Free delivery available. Credit? No, me know the secret. I like all you know the secret. Everybody, Everybody know, know the secret. secret. <laughs> Looking for fresh, tender, and flavorful meat? Then check out Rosignol Butchery for steaks, burgers, sausages, minced meat, fish, and chicken. For a tasty, attractive cocktail, we have a wide variety of packaged deli meats and cheeses to decorate your platter. We also stock a wide assortment of canned goods, seasoning salt, sauces, and marinade. All in a highly hygienic, welcoming atmosphere with warm and welcoming staff to cater to all your needs. Rosignol Butchery, we meet your needs. 70 374 Church Street, Georgetown. Telephone number 223 00. Ultra Lubricants, the leading lubricants for tropical conditions, has been serving you for over 40 years, extending the life cycle of your vehicle's engine by protecting it from wear and corrosion, removes impurities, and reducing frequent vehicle oil changes. Ultra Lubricants is for every market, from two-wheel light vehicle to trucks, construction, agriculture equipment, mining activities, and boating. Ultra Lubricants. World-class lubricants for tropical conditions. Distributed by Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. And available nationwide. It's John Lewis Styles Buy One, Get One at Half Price Sale. Buy any t-shirt, top, polo, shirt, dress, pantsuit, or skirt suit and get the second one at 50% off. Same goes for shoes, handbags, and lingerie at half price. Hurry, because John Lewis Styles Half Price Sale ends soon. It's John Lewis Styles. Buy one, get one at half price sale. Buy any t-shirt, top, polo, shirt, dress, pantsuit, or skirt suit and get the second one at 50% off. Same goes for shoes, handbags, and lingerie at half price. Hurry, because John Lewis Styles half price sale ends soon. We're tuned to News Update. Welcome back. In observance of Dr. Chedi Jagan's 100th birth anniversary, the Indian Action Committee hosted a public symposium under the team, Reflection on the Life and Works of Dr. Chedi Jagan. It was there that political commentator accused the PPP of straying away from the philosophy of Dr. Jagan. Kibini Jordan filed this report. Among the speakers present were former President and Prime Minister Samuel Hines, Dr. Chetty Jagan Jr., and former Attorney General and People's Progressive Party Member of Parliament, Anil Nandlal. Each praised Jagan for his sterling contribution to Guyana. With his self-confidence and optimism in the future, never clouded his humility and understanding that the essence of all human endeavor 
as he always told me, is persistence. The driving force of my advice, and he always told me that. The stark contrast, social commentator Raymond Gaskin accused the People's Progressive Party of straying away from the philosophy of Dr. Jagan. Gaskin noted Dr. Jagan was a socialist and Marxist. We believe that the world has changed, but we believe in the socialist thing. And Jagan was a socialist. We can't change that now. We cannot change that now. And he himself changed, and the party changed too. The party, the PPP now is not a socialist party. The PPP is a right wing capitalist party at the present time. And the PPP, if you want to, if you want to really acknowledge the truth, if we want to say it out boldly today, we'll say the PPP is a fractured party. Dr. Chetty Jagan was born on March 22, 1918, on a sugar plantation in Port Morant, Berbice, the son of indentured sugar workers. Dr. Jagan is widely referred to as the father of the nation and is remembered for his struggles, for betterments, for farmers and sugar workers. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. Former city councillor Ian Andrews boldly expressed his views on the recent debacle of the No Confidence motion raised against Tom Clark Royston King. Let's hear what he had to say. Although former Deputy Mayor Shara Duncan voiced his reasons behind a call for a No Confidence motion against Tom Clark Royston King to be heard by all councillors, Mayor Patricia Chase Green outrightly tossed out the motion. The dismissal of the motion followed a vote by councillors. It was based upon the manner of protocol used in her dismissal of the motion that former councillor Eon Andrews disagrees with. And what I find strange is that yes, the town clerk had to put that on the agenda. He did. I would have expected that this is the standard operational procedure over the years we would have been there moving um, motions to have that motion put to the floor, debated, probably voted on, and then sent to the final arbiter for what uh, the result of that voting, which happens to be the local government commission now. Now, even having that motion not passed there would be the remit of those councillors around there. So when, what is strange is that you have a subject, the town clerk, who is the subject of this thing, he go and find his friend, a lawyer, who probably who say um, they can't move this against the town clerk because this. Now, if I'm the subject of something, I could go and get any lawyer who says something, and then the mayor just pick it up and run with it. I do not blame the town clerk for getting something from his friend or who say everything. But the chairman of, of, of that council at the time, I'm to be the mayor. I can't imagine. You see, the thing about it is that, you know, meeting or, or those kind of procedure takes training. Andrews further surmised that it is clear that the mayor is either unaware of her role or chooses to act in accordance to what she believes to be appropriate. On the contrary, Andrews illustrated the use of appropriate and permissible protocols taken by former Mayor Hamilton Green when he was in office as it pertains to his handling of matters raised during statutory meetings. Some of these same people, that mayor too, that is there, she and others to move the motion against Hamilton Green twice, stating that he's been there too long, he's outlived his usefulness, and a whole set of frivolous things move this moment to get rid of him. Um, I do not know, I would want to feel that this thirst of power, and probably they might add on the things that, you know, under the shade that we don't know about why they would do something like that. The mayor did not go on the road and find a liar friend and come to us and say, um, he liar friend tell you, this is where we got an emotion can't end. It had to go through the process. It went to the town clock. It came to council. Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. Stay tuned for Court Roundup at the Guyana Stock Exchange as well as the Demar Harbour Bridge schedule. Introducing our new brand of all-weather fiberglass rocking chairs for complete relaxation. We supply quality, durable, 
and low maintenance indoor and outdoor table and chairs for your patio, restaurants, cafeteria, reception area, and much more. So sit back and enjoy quality products from Fibertech with guaranteed factory warranty. Introducing the new Softex toilet tissue, now available across Guyana. Softex is silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp. Softex is soft and gentle to every touch. Even babies can use it. Manufactured and distributed by BPATS Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. The choice is clear. Two Softex toilet tissue, super soft and super durable, guaranteed. Fresh ingredients in Creole foods at the Cottage Restaurant and Cafe. Finger licking, boil and fry, meats cooked to perfection, no MSG added. We cater for vegetarians too. Breakfast and lunch available fresh Mondays through Fridays. We open 7 a.m. Get coffee, Milo, or our famous power porridge filled with a blend of indigenous barks, natural fruit juices, catering services and delivery available. Call 231-4343. Located at 16 Access Road, Kingston, the Cottage Restaurant and Cafe, bringing back the good old days. The circle starts with solid support and a smile. This is real life. With its ups and its downs, this is going the extra mile. And the feeling you get when you can help someone along their journey. Through the twists and turns, we're here. This is Western Union, making sure your support reaches its destination. This is Western Union, moving money for better. This is what went down at the Georgia Magistrates Court on March 14. Cash in Transit officers attached to Massey Security Limited were on Wednesday charged for simple larceny. Clarence Patterson, Sean Goodluck, and Cosmo Chichester all appeared before Principal Magistrate Judy Latchman and denied that on November 13, 2017, at the Charlotte and Ornock Streets, Georgetown, they stole two Republic Bank tamper proof money bags with $1 million cash along with $2.2 million in checks property of Marek's Company Limited. Police prosecutor Simone Payne told the court that on the day in question, the security officers uplifted the money bags with the cash inside from Marek's Company Limited to be deposited at Republic Bank. It was later discovered that the money was not deposited and the matter was reported to the police. The trio was released on $200,000 bail each and the matter was adjourned until April 25. Meanwhile, a 30-year-old fisherman was on Wednesday remanded to prison for piracy. Sharim Sharif of Monrepo East Coast Demerara appeared before Senior Magistrate Shardel Isaacs Marcus and denied that on February 9 in the Cayuni River, while being armed with two guns and a knife, he robbed the vessel of Vikash Balkisun of a 4.7 million worth in fishing equipment and items when he will appear at the Springlands Magistrates Court. Reporting for MTV News Update, Godfrey Brooms. The Guyana Stock Exchange closing prices for trading session 764. Let's turn our attention to the Denver Harbor Bridge schedule.
Technology Wrap is next, stay with us. When reliability is not an option, you need a supplier you can trust. This skilled technician depends on Forfan and Mendes for heavy-duty tools. This landscaper earns a living using still equipment. High rates of production and recovery lead to this sawmiller trusting his operation to wood miser. Mothers trust the water filtration systems for the health of their families. Thanks to the automatic backup systems, you'll never be left in the dark again. Farfan and Mendes, offering you solutions you can depend on. Mark? I'm in the kitchen. <gasps> this is amazing! I love your tiles. Make an impression with the finest tiles imported by Lens. Lens has a huge selection of various tiles for your wall, floor, and pool needs. All of our tiles are of grade A quality, which are the highest quality tile rated. That means they last longer and are less likely to damage or crack. We're the sole distributor for many reputable companies around the world. At Lens, we have special deals for contractors and bulk shoppers. Shop at any of our three locations to get the best in tiles. Lens, our product, your creation. Hey, you have a growing flesh there, and there too, and there is another one. Those ugly and annoying growing flesh, like a plague, ignoring them, and before you know, you have them everywhere. SlimJet presenting Coliomac, the most effective growing flesh and wall remover. Painlessly remove ugly growing flesh is the quick and effective way. Get soft, smooth, growing flesh-free skin, guarantee. Just apply Colomac twice a day and the growing flesh just dry up and fall off. Easy, quick and painless. Stop suffering and feeling embarrassed. Remove those ugly growing flesh with Colomac. Only at SlimJet, City Mall, second floor. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens available in tinted or clear complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Pleasant good evening viewers and welcome to this week's edition of Star Technology Wrap. As always, I'm your host Rajesh Lakan along with Rochelle and this week she will be telling us about a special device that Star Computer has to offer. Rochelle, you guys didn't even mention it to me, what is it? Go ahead and tell us about this special equipment. Okay, well, the reason we haven't told you about it is because it's extra special. Do you know that long ago learning was so simple? It was so simple that it's, it's just a book and a paper that you know you're writing down, you're learning, you do your research, you're on, you're going through textbooks and whatnot. Manually. Right. Ma everything was manual back then, but now you have a. Everything is digitalized because you you have uh, the internet that is so broadened that you it's just at your fingertips to have all this information. Well, right now here at Star Computer, we do have a wide variety of laptops, mm -hmm. but I want to mention today about the Lenovo netbook that we have on deal right now, which is a fantastic device. It's actually an 11-inch netbook that is so portable. It's easy to uh, move around with. Um, it's easy to use. It's uh, user-friendly. Um, this is something that I would think that a lot of school kids are very much interested in having. It's uh, technology is becoming so more, more and more advanced that you know every day it's hard to keep up with. But here at Star Computer, I'm sure we can help you find something that can suit your needs. Because, uh, like I had mentioned, you want to find some sort of research or, or whatever. You have all these devices that can help you. Um, with our Lenovo netbook here, you have uh, the internet that you can use to do your research. You have. Um, 
printers that you can connect them to to print. And also, I must mention that this device is coming with a HP printer free. free. Oh, good. Yes, it's coming free. And besides this particular uh, 11 inch uh, Lenovo laptop that we have, we do have different sizes in them. We have from the 11 inch, the 14 inch, the 15 inches. And we also do have them in different brands. But this week, we just wanted to focus on the Lenovo um, netbook at $49.9 that is coming with a free printer. I'm sure that you will love this device because it's so easy to use and it is uh, user friendly. So. And how long is it for? Well, it's on for this week here, but of course it's going to be rolling because like I mentioned, we do have others, other laptops available that you can choose from. So. Tell me the technical aspect of this notebook in terms of specs. Alright, well in terms of specs, uh, Lenovo with this particular laptop, they basically uh, focus on thin and light in terms of portability as well because it's a 32 gig memory which is upgradable if you want to use a flash drive you can have that or even a hard drive because nowadays it's more easier to store your information on these portable devices um, of course you know that we're the authorized Lenovo uh, distributor so it's backed up with a one-year warranty and also I must mention that it's coming with a 2 gigs memory and it's 11 inches screen. Great, apart from that, what else happened here? Well, here at Star Computer, we always have a lot of amazing deals, so you'd have to like us on Facebook so you can keep up to date with them. So thank you, Rochelle. And that's all we have for you in this week's edition of Star Technology Wrap. Do join us next week, Wednesday, for another edition. Uh, that's all we have for in our newscast tonight, but before we go, here's a recap of our major headlines. Pensioner found with a throat slit, one arrested. Public Health Ministry denies any drug shortage. Wanted fugitive and social media personality arrested at different locations. And in court, three security officers charged for stealing $3.2 million in cash and checks. The newscast can be viewed online on MTV's Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. The news will be rebroadcasted later tonight at 23 hours and at 6 hours on Thursday, March 15. On behalf of our news and technical teams, I am Ashley Scotland, thanking you for watching. Good night.